What's up guys, this is Wolf of the Fell Handed and this is a T29 platoon. Not quite a full platoon, we do have four men strong though. We are on Mountain Pass. Now, if you've watched my map tactics video, the important line to push on this map is the one line. That's exactly where we go. We have the armor and the firepower excuse me, to make a really good run at pushing that flank. You get these tanks hull down and they are nothing less than impressive. 320 a shot with incredible penetration for its tier. Very, very overpowered heavy tank for tier 7. I would say if I had to pick a heavy tank that would be the most overpowered tank in the game for its tier, it would be this one because you get these things hold down you can run a T29 in a tier 10 lobby as long as you're hold down it's just it I cannot say enough good things about this tank of course it does suffer the same things that other heavy tanks suffer which is extreme <laughs> lack of mobility but you know the thing is, guys, is once you get into a position, even with a medium tank, you typically stay there for the majority of the game. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Because you're not going to be running and gunning for a whole lot of the game. You're going to be in a fixed position firing. When all your enemies end up dead in that fixed position, or yourself ends up dead, then you will move to another position. So, the lack of speed doesn't really affect you I guess as much at any rate we are moving to engage the primary area of contention on the one flank or excuse me the one row here on the left flank and we're gonna see if we can't go ahead and make some things happen I've already taken a number of hits and I haven't even really gotten nice and stuck into combat and guys you know that happens to all of us okay so, I know a lot of people say, ah, oh, you know, I end up getting really tore up, and I don't even get into combat yet. Well, you know, guys, it, it happens to everybody, not just you. So, you know, you just have to be, what you have to do is, you have to make the most of it. So when that happens, you just continue on pushing. So I've got a little bugger here. He is firing wildly at me. And the idea is, I'm, I'm essentially playing a game of peek boom here. I don't really want to get too much into it. I'm calling for help so I can get another T-29 on my side here, on the left flank here, because I am afraid that if they come and they decide to put some pressure on me, I am going to be in big trouble. And, you know, I'm running APCR right now, guys. I probably don't need to be, but I just choose to be <laughs> because I haven't ran this tank in a long time, and I just, you know, wanted to make sure those couple of rounds there got in nice and good we went ahead and switched back to AP and you know that was a very tough fight they had a great number of tanks over there so we ended up losing half of our T-29s never a good thing I'm gonna try to put a long range shot here and this guy <laughs> didn't quite connect with him and you know and that's fine Sometimes I feel the only thing that limits this tank is the slow firing cannon, the slow DPM. But you know guys, the larger caliber guns are often going to limit you in that aspect. Speaking of large caliber guns, you know your E100, biggest gun in the game for a heavy tank, has quite a considerable, you know, reload time. And sometimes people feel that that limits them as well. So, you know, that's kind of just along the same lines. Just wanted to bring that idea to bear. Now, it, it is kind of almost even. We're going to try to get in here and get a few more reds off the board. See if we can't make this, t make this game a little more even. Right now, you know, we're, we're, I told him to wait on me till I get over here so we can both roll this guy at the same time. And the tiger decides to join us, the hammer which is fantastic because you know what if we don't have help but it will take it <laughs> so right now you know going to creep around the corner here see if we can't go ahead and get this guy off the board I have to be very cautious because I am a one-shot for pretty much everything on the board 
we have evened up the map the tanks on the map and I'd make a judgment call I said guys we need to start burning for the cap or you know as quick as a T-29 can go and go ahead and start locking it down because they are most likely headed for our cap and gonna try to ninja cap us so let's get over here let's get ready to put rounds on target so you could see here I go ahead and I switch to APCR at some point and I am now ready don't really want to flub any shots I typically don't carry high X I'm a fan of APCR in the situations like this I don't really have to worry about penetrating I don't know it seems like everyone who's on the cap and I pull up I can normally always penetrate them I, <laughs> the, the issue I've had is getting there in time or perhaps not even getting a full reticle on them you, you know how you rush up to defend the cap and you've got three seconds left and you fire and you miss and what have you so that's you know I know a lot of people you know carry two high X just for this to make sure they always reset the cap but for me guys I'm always focused on making sure I at least try to connect so we went ahead and put a round on the arty there guys Re went ahead and reset the cap moving on the rest of the team here in a very good hold down position put a round in him and he finishes me off that is the end of the game for me now this other gentleman that is alive is a subscriber is a fan and asked if he could run with me he is the one who is going to take care of everything for us he's going to save the game he's going to go around the corner and put some rounds on this tank destroyer with the other green on the team the tank destroyer is finished off he's busting a 180 degree turn now to go and seek out the remaining tank he has an auto loader with him two tanks versus one tank never a good thing if you're the one tank the game will be over shortly they will kill him you really have to make some poor tanking decisions to to fumble a 2v1 type situation or the one has to be exceptional in some way in other words like a high DPM tank and you guys are a couple of one shots or what have you 2v1s are kind of a hobby of mine I, I'm very interested in the why things happen so we didn't do especially good we did 25 28 we did okay we didn't do fantastic but you know what guys t29s gaming with the community gaming with the subs gaming with the fans guys i hope you enjoy please remember to like subscribe and share